Go ahead. All right. You want to start us off, Brother Carter? Cut Man the crap. Cut the crap. Man of Steel. We need to cut the crap on, on uh, what do we need to cut the crap on? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Okay. Come on here. Give me one right quick as I think. <laughs> if the meeting is more than 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Cut the crap. I, I, listen, just cut it. Send an email. Yes. <laughs> Give me your, all these bullet points you want. It's send an email. Yeah. I, there are meetings uh, that I have to sit in on, and it's more about people just liking to hear themselves yeah, talk. It. Right. Mm -hmm. And being in, in a leadership role, you have to find balance between, of course, hearing your subordinates and making sure they feel heard. Mm -hmm. But you also like, look, we can't just sit here and talk all day. To yeah, Ricky's right. point, like, hey, yeah. we talked about it. Now what you going to do? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cut the yeah. crap. Cut the yeah. crap. Yeah. We want y'all to... Uh, Join in on Cut the Crap out there and YouTube or Facebook. We want y'all to put it in the chat line there. Ricky, what you got on Cut the Crap? It's, it's to kind of follow his uh, follow that train. I, I've been having a lot more meetings lately. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten to a point to where I, I used to not have a lot of meetings, right? But now mm -hmm. it's like, okay, this is a, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. I'm getting every other day, every day. Now it's two or three times a day now. Mm -hmm. So when people say, hey, we need to have a meet or have a, a, you know, a consultation or whatever. And, and I'm like, about what? Mm -hmm. Okay. What are we going to talk about? Oh, well, you know, no, 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 I don't know. Mm -hmm. So let's just say, what are we going to talk, talk about? about? What is the yes. plan? What is the purpose? What yeah. is the agenda? Right. Uh, and so I'm like, cut the crap with like, let's just meet yeah. for no reason. Yeah. What are we meeting about? What is the end goal? <laughs> what is the end result? <laughs> right. So yeah. let's cut the crap with, let's just. Cut the crap. Yeah. Let's have a purpose. Eh? Yeah. Let's have a purpose. <laughs> yeah. all, all these random conversations about nothing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Justin, what you got on cut the crap? Mine kind of follows the theme today. Um, people that, you know, we all make mistakes. We're all human beings, right? And nobody expects someone to, to always be perfect. But mm -hmm. if you make a mistake, don't make an excuse. Just My own yes. what mm -hmm. happened. Just own it. You're not going to get crucified or fired or kicked out of the family or whatever. But yeah. when you do nothing but make excuses, you're just telling everybody how insecure you and fragile that you are. My, just my, my. Crap. Own, own what you did. Yeah, it's that. so much easier yeah. to receive. My, my cut to crap is, is similar to yours. Uh, stop wronging someone and take three or four days before you apologize for it. It's only like like Justin said. Yeah. Yeah. Only to apologize and be over with it. Okay. Can I add something to that? Come on here. Something Abby. online that said apologizing isn't the same thing as taking accountability. Absolutely. You they, can apologize, but that doesn't mean you took accountability for your actions. Yes. And I, for me personally, accountability is more important than an apology. Mm -hmm. 100%. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask that's, you real that's quick. A story. Stop right saying there. I'm sorry. I, I don't like when people say I'm sorry no more. Yeah. Well, let me add yeah, to especially it. Especially when that's all they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I, it is a pet peeve of mine when anyone apologizes and they immediately say, I apologize but. if... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not an apology. I apologize if I offend you. Offended. Yeah. You didn't. Yeah. You obviously right, did. Right, That's right. what right. apology is for. Cut that crap for real, yeah. right there. I apologize yeah. if I hurt your feet. No, yeah. you did. Just say I apologize. And that's yeah. what I was gonna add to what Abigail was saying. An apology is good if you don't put a if and what a but behind it. Look right. like we're having a. We got to take a pause yeah, for the call. Yeah, we music for you guys. Look like we're we having a, a fire alarm. Emergency. Yes. Because you guys are bringing the heat. We'll be back right, soon as we can. Um, so we have one. If you know it's your duty, don't push it to others. Mm. No. Like mm. Thank you. Uh, Thank the, you. Who said Natalie. that? Uh, Natalie. Natalie. Yes. Um, I don't know how to say your last name. Natalie from Facebook. Yes. Um, Darnell said, if you are sorry. Natalie, where are you from anyway? Hey, put, you put it up there. Uh, let us know where you're from. Where are you coming from? Yeah. Actually, actually all you. of you guys, tell us where you're coming from out there. Uh, what city, what state you're coming from? Our country. Yeah, exactly. We do have some uh, some people overseas that yeah. tune into the Love and Victory show. Nice. Darnell Harper said, if you are sorry, then behave like you're actually sorry. Yeah, crap. Best okay. apologies, change behavior. Okay, mm. change the behavior. Learn to, from Jonathan Gilmore on Facebook, learn to take lessons from your mistakes. Cut the crap. Oh. Mm -hmm. Martin uh, B from Facebook said, don't argue when you're wrong. Cut the crap. Oh, <laughs> I think that kind of goes when you put the put your pride aside. Saying, yes, yeah, yeah. Stop trying to act like you. Well, the thing is, you don't even know you. Sometimes arguing. it is. Yeah, you know, sometimes you don't know you're angry. Yeah, 
Yeah. You don't even know you. Especially Ill. people that tend to get angry. But that's mental illness. They don't tend to even know you. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. That's the studio audience. So you had any more? Yes. Oh, not a comment, but I had one that I kind of wanted to give. I thought about Mm -hmm. it yesterday, so that's why I want to say it real quick. It kind of goes into what Adonis was saying. Learn some airplane etiquette, Mm y'all. Learn some airplane etiquette. Learn to keep to only take up your little bit of space. Mm -hmm. Don't clap when the plane lands. Don't stand (laughs) until your road is ready to go. Like get in line for boarding. Like it's like people don't know the process, and that really irks me because I travel a lot. So I'm Mm -hmm. like, how do you not? There should be an, like uh, a handbook oh, on airplane God. etiquette. Yeah. There really oh, okay. should, or like oh, a class. Uh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I, you, you know, I think I, they should change the way they lo- load the plane up. Let the people in the back go in first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to keep all the traffic from going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to the plane. Yeah. Well, then you'd you'd have to by, by doing that you'd have to assign seats. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And some airlines don't. That's the challenge. Yeah, we, sure. American, that's they do assign seats. American United. Yeah. yeah. I know yeah. South yeah. Southwest doesn't. I don't think Spirit mm-hmm. does. I don't yeah. think any I think it's the I don't want to say lower tier, but yeah. Yeah. some of the less expensive <laughs> airlines, they don't they, yeah. <laughs> okay. 